check check welcome back welcome back welcome back it's your girl Bernisha Renee I guess I can update y'all on what's been going on this is really a question and answers video that I posted on Instagram a month ago or a month and a half ago so excuse the delay um that's a question and answers video you guys ask questions and I'm answering them. so but before we do that let's get into how has the year been going so far I would say it's it's coming <laughs> life is coming at me however I think I am doing pretty good with with fighting back. You know, I've gotten over everything so far. So, I'll just say, life has been coming and I have been fighting. And we're going to fight and we're going to get through it. So, anyways, tell me how your life been going. Let's get into, let's get into the video. Question is answers. Y'all are nosy. But I'm here to, I'm here to give y'all answers, okay? So, I just airdropped it to myself. One second. Y'all, I really can't find it. Okay, you guys. First question says, is it hard fitting into a new city? So I haven't technically ever moved before. Um, well, I, when I was younger, I did. I moved from Nashville to Rutherford County to Smyrna, but I was in like second grade. So no, at two, second grade it wasn't. But I guess if we're talking in regards to me living in Murfreesboro now that I'm grown and like migrating to Nashville and getting to know people in Nashville, um, no y'all i'm a very outgoing person if i'm out i'm usually speaking happy jolly whatever um so no i i follow people on instagram i'm like you're pretty what's your like i i connect and whatever if i meet you you're cool no fitting into a new city is not hard if you like to do things go out to eat go to the movies you have to get out to see people so if you don't then Obviously, you're going to be a little bored or, you know, I don't know anyone. So, no, just get out. Get out in the city. Okay. So, do you plan on moving out of Nashville? Yes, I do. I do. Let's go. I will go to Atlanta, Georgia. Typical. Everybody goes, oh, that's cliche. Yeah, I will go to Atlanta, Georgia or in Dallas, Texas, or Houston, Texas. I wouldn't mind going there. I've been to LA. I don't, I haven't gotten the wanting to move to LA yet. I feel like as I get older in age and I get on a different, you know, level financially and stuff that that is gonna hit me. But right now, I'm cool with actually moving out of Murfreesboro to Nashville, literally. Like, if I can do that, I feel like that's a big step. And then, of course, once I've done what I need to do in Nashville, yes, let's go to Atlanta, baby. Let's dip. There's no reason to stay in one place. I Like, let's go. Let's go. So, I do plan on moving out of Nashville. That's, that's something that I want to do. And I do everything I want to do. Okay, y'all. What is your ultimate goal this year? Ooh, that's a good one. So I think the number one goal this year, mastering lash extensions and waxing and basic facials. By the end of the year, I, that's, my, that's my number one goal for the year is that whole mark that I have going on to have it damn near making me $10,000 a month. That's really, I guess those two coincide because my ultimate goal this year is to hit 10K, make it 10K a month. So, obviously, if I get that going, I'm charging for those services 
that affects my income. So those two are the number one things this year. I'm going to be the best Tennessee State License Esthetician. Okay, <sighs> that sounds so good, doesn't it? Y'all gotta. These are affirmations. If y'all do this, do that. Let's let's go. How do you say your middle name? Okay, so my mama, well, who's naming? She said Bernicia Rania McFerrin. I say Bernicia Renee McFerrin because that was difficult. I was like, Mama, I know you're trying to be unique. I know you're trying to be cute and name me after my daddy and everything, but that's complicated. Bernicia Rania, like even though it is said exactly how it's spelled, I was like, can I just make it simpler? I say Renee, some people say Rania. It's honestly whatever you want it to be. I ain't tripping because my mama knew better. My dad's name is Bernard Rabin. So, Bernard Rabin McFerrin. So, if y'all want to give your own opinions there of how she did, feel free. Now, this is my breakfast and my lunch. I haven't eaten all day. Thumbnail. Smoothie King, make me the sponsor me. I drink smoothie every day. Same one. Celebrity Idol, female. That's one question. Who's your celebrity idol? Y'all already noticed if you follow me on Twitter or Instagram. Honestly, if you know me personally, you know who my idol is. Sierra. CC, yes, I'm in the Hive. I'm not in the Beehive, even though I'm in the Beehive in real life. I don't mess with the Beehive, Beyonce. I am Sierra 100%. I'm Sierra, okay? I got the first CD, everything. That's my girl. That's my girl. The reason why I say her, I feel like she's more relatable than Beyonce seems so perfect. You know, she seems so damn perfect. Like, when did she? That's just my opinion. Sierra, I feel like I've seen her grow from teen to like this. She's a phenomenal woman to me, y'all. She's so great. She's had her share of bad relationships, bad men. Like she dated 50. 50 ain't a bad man, but like their relationship didn't work. She dated Bow Wow. You know what I'm saying? Like that's how our real life goes. Like we be really having issues in the same manner that she did. But then now look at her. Her husband is the highest, one of the highest paid NFL players in the world. In the NFL, excuse me. Like, you ain't telling me she she did some some good hard work, some good manifestation. Like, she stuck in there. She believed in herself. So that's good. Sierra, hands down. Favorite, favorite female idol. Somebody said, it's not a question. Keep chasing your dreams, homie. I appreciate that. I appreciate that a lot. Thank you. I do not take lightly when people compliment me or send me, you know, uh, kind of like testimonials that I provide. I take that shit to heart. Like, I really appreciate that. So thank you. I will. Whatever you do, keep it, you know what I'm saying? Keep it solid. You keep it up as well. If you need some words of positivity or some motivation, hit me up. I'm always down to be like, uh-uh. You gotta do something. Let's do something. Whatever we need to do. Okay. If you could change one thing in your life, what would it be? That's a great question. I don't like these questions because it could be contradicting to my reality. Like, I kind of like my life. My life is going okay. I think I'm on a great path to be the age that I'm at, you know, with what I have. So I, I ain't downplaying my, my reality at all for me to say that if I didn't do something previously, I wouldn't be right here in a specific, you know what I'm saying, position. I forgot where I was at, but um, there's nothing that I would change. There's nothing I would change because I feel like if I were to change something previously, 
then that would affect where I'm at now and where I feel like I'm going to be at or where I know that I will be at in the next couple years. So I'm good with changing anything that I've previously done. The only thing I wish I could change is if I really had some thicker eyebrows. That would be nice. Thanks, Mom. Because she don't have any either. So, ugh. that's what I would change. Some eyebrows. Okay. It says, top three to five favorite movies. Okay, so okay, 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 okay. Rush Hour 2, In Love with a Church Girl, that has Ja Rule in it, and Adrian Bayline from Cheetah Girls. Rush Hour 2, In Love with a Church Girl, Beyond the Lights, <sighs> that move right there, ooh, yes, Beyond the Lights. Um, I would say The Dark Knight and Batman Begins. Them two, I'm gonna put them two together, because Christian Bell, honey, make me want to go watch it right now Dark Knight and the last one I think that's it I'm going to hold off at four because those are the four that I would watch just on any random like on a day like today I would probably be watching like The Dark Knight um, but I'm down here with you guys Rush Hour 2 Beyond the Lights In Love with a Church Girl and the dark night if you haven't seen those go watch them especially especially beyond the last i would say that's probably rush hour 2 is my all-time favorite because i'm a, i like comedies but when it comes to like movies that are relatable or that kind of motivates you beyond the lights would be it it would be it for like love life for you know me wanting to be in entertainment because the girls in entertainment in the movie and then you know going through the different y'all watch it beyond the lights i recommend okay <sighs> okay this one says current relationship status what do y'all think i think i'm in a relationship i think i'm single i think i'm in a situation ship current relationship status i'm gonna just be honest i'm gonna say how i feel this um this gonna hit the net so i'm gonna just go with it i'm gonna say how i feel my current relationship status benjamin benjamin, benjamin. for two years on and off two years that's who i fuck with like that's who i'm i I'm not at this point I'm not playing about him so you know at whatever has happened whatever y'all know of think it's a game think it's a game <laughs> next question will shawty red name ever retire so I think I retired it last year um last year sometime and that was 2019 i don't i don't remember specifically i, I made a post on instagram let me see if i can find it i made a huge post when i changed my um instagram name from i am shawty red 615 to bernicia period renee i had a huge growth moment back in 2019 but prior to that I was on it but um, you know how sometimes you get you meet people and then they give different you know perspectives they give you different ways to think um, so I was already on that path but my surroundings was not what I was trying to get to and my surroundings changed a little bit and I had to make some changes so yes yeah, shawty red did go away to bernice renee but i'll be honest y'all i be out nobody can stop calling me red nobody can like everybody still calls me red except for the people that i did with on a daily you know like 
obviously every day they're not calling me red people that you know best friend b mom and stuff they don't call me you know red but i be out Charlie, i was at the gas station the other day and i knew the girl and i was like why are you buying a donut i was telling her not to eat a donut for breakfast she had like i was like get a banana or something but she was like shawty red and i was like man you know it's foreign because you know internally i changed like if y'all know if y'all know shawty red y'all know that i with the shit okay i used to party sunday to sunday i'm out i'm flexing i'm stunned i was not humble like i was just this was all before i had beer too so i put that out there i didn't have a daughter when i was shawty red um probably a year and a half after i had beer i was like mm, this this girl gotta go you gotta you gotta boss up you got a daughter like this changes the game <laughs> Like having a son when, you know what I'm saying? That wasn't a game changer. Having a daughter, get you right. Like, you realize what you're doing? Like, wait. Mm. So, Shardy Red has retired. Shardy Red is a part of who I am today, though. That's, you know, that's who made me, you know, it, what I feel like, you know, I am in the city. Murfreesboro and Nashville, Shardy Red. Met some dope people. I know a lot of people, man. Y'all so fucking dope. I done met a lot of people. I had a lot of parties. Done a lot of... I fuck with Red. Like, I fuck with entertainment. I'm coming back, y'all. I got... It's two... It's two events that I just know that's going... That's when somebody asked what my ultimate goal is. This is... This is, this is the plus that... I want two nights. I want two nights of my own. I'm not gonna tell you what they're called because I don't want nobody snatching my, you know, my good names. But there's two two club nights that I want, and where and how I'm gonna get them has not been determined yet. I just keep focusing on, you know, making sure my details of the type of nights that I want to have are specific and in place. But having two nights, I wanna be like the number one female entertainer promoter, like this night and this night like yeah y'all supposed to be at my spot so y'all fuck with me maybe i really believe in me and my marketing and my promotion my entertainment and you know my ability to you know to create vibes unmatched have y'all ever party with me i am like a wild beast like i have fucking fun okay i remember going to house parties like in middle school i started the parties i was the first girl to twerk i was first like <sighs> if y'all ain't never parted with me like my birthday coming up okay question and answer video that was it i think yeah that's all the questions um y'all my birthday today is march 13th so that means i have 10 days 11 days 11 days left into my birthday. My birthday's on March 24th. What I'm doing, I have no idea. I know, the only thing I know that I'll be doing is there's a Sunday night at Soho. So, Sundays, shout out to Sunny D, Jordan, KB, all the homies um, that do Sunday night. I will for sure be celebrating my birthday on a Sunday there. Um, outside of that, my actual birthday's on a Tuesday. Um, I'm actually thinking of taking off, like, flights are really cheap right now, you know, the virus is out, y'all acting all retarded and shit, I don't care nothing about none of that, I don't listen to bullshit, I think that shit's bullshit, um, however, um, y'all know last year I went to LA by myself, flights to LA right now is $143, y'all, last year I paid almost three fifty. and I paid for that ticket earlier than, right now my birthday's two weeks away. Um, last year, I know I did it like in February and still paid double. Flights to LA, 143. Flights to uh, Miami is 137. I'm low key feeling like just a low key get cute. Like, type, like an Atlanta type of vibe. Like, shoot off to Atlanta, get a high rise, hit a, a low key club. Or, you know, a high club, but just be low-key in there. Just 
you know what I'm saying? On the vibe. I just want to be on the vibe my whole birthday. I ain't trying to act up and nothing like that. Break the bank or flex. I just want to have a good time. I just want to be lit. I just want to be, you know. So, if y'all have any birthday ideas or wherever y'all at, I'm open right now. We need to we need to know by Wednesday what I'm doing for my birthday. By the time I make another video, I'm gonna know what my birthday plans is. Mm. So, anywho, yeah, my brother's coming up. I'm turning 26. I am an Aries, okay, Aries gang. If you ain't never met an Aries, I think we're the best. But every, of course, everyone says that. Everyone says that they think they're the best. But, you know, I mean, I just think I'm the best. I think I'm the best person to have in your life as a friend, as an associate. If you know me, I think I'm I'm good of someone to know of. And, you know, I'm, I think I'm completely beneficial. If I'm not beneficial, I think you need to let me know so I can pick up my slack somewhere. Because if you're around me, I want you to, you know, I want you to feel my energy. I want you to be how I am. And, you know what I'm saying, move how I move. And because I'm only reaching for more, higher, better. So if I'm doing, I need, you know, we just, we just all got to be in sync. Um, I saw that birthday's coming and I take the second portion of my state board next Wednesday. Y'all, y'all know I passed the, the written. That was easy. Well, I ain't gonna say it was, it was easy. So the second part is the practical. Um, this is where I actually have to do examples of what we learned as far as doing a facial and like waxing and tweezing. We have to pretend like our mannequin is the actual person and do the sanitation and stuff like that. So that's why I say if your lash technician is not Tennessee State licensed or wherever they live at licensed, you need to stop going to them. Like, yeah, yeah. Make sure your lash tech is licensed in cosmetology or aesthetics, period. If they're not, you need to stop, stop going. Call me, come to me. Um, so yeah, I take a second part next Thursday. Y'all pray for me. I haven't even been studying. I'm not even gonna kid you not. I haven't done the practical since I had to pass it in school. I graduated in October. So I haven't done it since October. So it's ultimately my priority like today and until Wednesday to do the routine at least five times. Like I gotta get it. I gotta get it. So y'all pray for me and my second portion of my test. I'm gonna pass it. I know I'm gonna pass it because I'm gonna do what I need to do to pass it. Um, outside of that, that's all that's been going on in my life. And I've missed you guys. And we're gonna get back to every Wednesday. So that's why I said next Wednesday we'll know what we're doing for my birthday because I have a video for you guys. Um, I need new video ideas. <laughs> I don't know. I keep y'all give me some video ideas. What do y'all want to see? The section I'm in, this is my lash room bed section in my house. I'm sitting on the actual lash bed. These are the pillows that you guys use for under your back, and some people put it under their legs to support their back. So I got two big fluffy pillows. I have another pillow that has a hump here that supports this and then this part is for me to have easy access to the lashes this is my little room i wish i could show y'all it but it's stuck say hey barry say hey this is my youtube hi hi youtube <laughs> well we are signing off and we will see y'all in the next video make sure you give this video a like button thumbs up and subscribe to my channel subscribe to my channel good we because we doing good videos so if you want to watch it, get that big youtube button and press it and then you can watch it <laughs> That's right. Thank you so much for closing out my video, beard. You're amazing. See you guys later. Bye-bye.